Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, we've got some more thunderstorms on the way, which I'll touch on here in, in just a second. Talk about if any of those will be severe. First, we'll start with a look outside of the Magic City. A beautiful day shaping up so far in the noon hour. Lots of clear skies, just a couple of high clouds out there on the distance. Right now in Minot, you're at 76 degrees. Winds are calm, humidity 46%, and that dew point is a nice and dry 54 degrees. Here's a look at temperatures elsewhere across the KX region. Most places in the mid to upper 60s, even a few lower 70s out there. Even warmer up near the Canadian border. Bodno already up to 77 degrees where they've had lots of sunshine today. Cooler to the south where they've had some stubborn cloud cover, 66 in Hedinger in 68 in Flasher. We do have the chance for some severe weather today. I'll touch on that now. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center putting uh, Bowman County and other areas to the southwest under a marginal risk. So if we do get thunderstorms to develop, there could be some isolated severe storms mixed in there. Most other places, if you get a storm, shouldn't be severe. In fact, we'll look at this on the satellite radar. Just some scattered showers right now. Uh, maybe a heavier shower down here to the southwest of Bismarck. But what the Storm Prediction Center is watching is this cell right here. This little, uh, it's called a short wave that's moving through the atmosphere. And that is sliding its way to the east-northeast. And it's going to run into some more unstable air as it heads toward the east. In fact, as we look at the instability forecast, you'll notice some of these darker greens in here, and that's fuel for what these thunderstorms need to really grow and become more severe. And that will stay with us through a good portion of the afternoon before once we get through this evening, finally the atmosphere kind of stabilizes and those storms move off to the east. In fact, here's precision cast. This is 1:30, and as you can see, there are those storms rolling across the border so that by 4:35 o'clock, they should be rolling in with the chance that some of those storms reach severe criteria. Not everybody down there will see showers and thunderstorms. They will be hit or miss, but the storms do have the potential to become severe as they roll through <clears throat> the region. In terms of rainfall that you could see with those storms, anywhere where you're stuck under those storms could be an inch or two. And in some isolated spots, wouldn't be surprised if up to three inches of rainfalls in some of those more steadier and persistent cells. So definitely something you'll want to keep an eye on. Today in the, or in the capital city, we'll get to 74. Can't rule out the chance for a shower or thunderstorm, especially after 3 o'clock. Otherwise, a mostly sunny day. No rain today in Minot. We'll get to 76 with those light winds out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight in the capital city, a very pleasant 56 with an isolated shower or storm still around. I think they'll be ending, though, by 11 o'clock tonight. And in the Magic City tonight, a quiet night, mostly cloudy skies and light winds out of the northeast at between 4 and 5 miles an hour. Here's your five-day forecast for the Dickinson area. There's a chance for those storms, especially to the southwest. I think a pretty good shot. And then after that, a chance for a hit or miss storm every day after that. And then in Williston, pretty much the same thing, an afternoon storm throughout the weekend, but comfortable temperatures. I think Monday is the best chance uh, for severe weather up near the Williston area. And then your extended forecast for the Bismarck area, a chance for showers and storms every day as we go through the next couple of days. Uh, but comfortable and seasonable temperatures might be a little windy at times. And then in the Magic City, pretty much the same thing. I think the pick of the week, Tim, is Saturday with those temperatures in the mid 70s. But after that, a chance for a shower or storm each day. All right. Sounds good, Robert. Thank you. Looking forward to Saturday.